Welcome back to the Whiskey Couch here in sunny South Africa with me, Gustav Miller, as your host. Time flies when you're having fun. This is already whiskey tasting and food pairing review number 121. And today's whiskey is the Four Roses Small Batch Whiskey. It is the fourth one in this series that I'm doing on bourbon whiskey from Kentucky. So this beautiful Four Roses small batch, and you can see this beautiful bottle, the Four Roses there are embossed on the glass, and the label goes right around. So quite a, quite a beautiful bottle. But before I continue, just a reminder that in the notes of the video, just below the video, I do have a summary of the tasting notes and also the food pairing recommendations, as well as a long list of other whiskey tube channels all of which i have subscribed to and i would like to encourage you to have a look at all of them maybe you want to subscribe to some of those channels as well four roses for today small batch bourbon from the four roses distillery built in 1910 and i have got a photograph here of what it looks like at the Four Roses Distillery and the Visiting Center, I think that is. Four Roses Distillery. The, the brand, Four Roses brand, however, was already trademarked in 1888 by Paul Jones Jr. after the woman whom he was in love with wore a Four Roses corsage to indicate that she accepts his marriage proposal. So after that, this brand of Four Roses bourbon was already trademarked. So quite a romantic history. The distillery situated in Lawrenceburg, Kentucky in the United States, but owned by a Tokyo-based Kirin Brewing Company who also owns the Bullet Bourbon brand. This particular bourbon, Four Roses small batch, is made by, what they actually do is they've got four di distinctly different bourbons made with distinctly different recipes that they mingle together to give you this small batch expression. So it says you're crafted from four select bourbons right there. And it is bottled at 45% 750 milliliter bottle. Distilled and aged by Four Roses Distillery in Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. Aged in new charred American oak barrels. I've poured my dram a little before I started the video. And I'm quite excited to share what I've what I'm experiencing here with this whiskey with you. So here we go. Let's start with a color, a burnished color. And I think you can see on the camera there how the legs are already forming there. Burnished quite a dark. That's one thing that I did pick up on all three of these, and also this bourbon, the color is more or less the same sweet nose sweet and rich soft and fruity no alcohol burn on the nose toffee and vanilla this is quite a nice nose caramel cinnamon This is quite interesting. None of the solventy aromas that I picked up on the other bourbons, none of that here. Cinnamon, nutmeg, a little bit of oranges. Maybe it's my imagination, but I'm picking up a bit of sherry with this. Four roses.
Mm. Wonderfully sweet, wonderfully creamy, some very nice honey, honey fruit. There's a little bit of a coffee note that I'm picking up. But the fruity and the honey and the sweet and the creamy, that's, that is in the majority in terms of the flavor profile. Some cinnamon. And there's also a nutty, like a nutty nutmeg flavor that I'm also getting. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, this is, this is very good. Marzipan. Marzipan and the wonderful oily mouthfeel coating your mouth from beginning to end. It's got a long finish. I almost want to say this has got the longest finish out of the, out of the four. Complex finish. The honey, the cinnamon, the oaky spices is, is lingering. There's even a chocolatey and perhaps even a minty note before the dry, the dry finish right at the end. Very good. This can be my favorite. I know I've said that every time that I moved on to the next bourbon, every time I said this could be my favorite, but I'm really impressed with this Four Roses small batch. So a few drops of water in the 45% alcohol by volume. See the effect there on the glass. Ooh, fruity honey. With a little bit of candy corn sweetness. More cinnamon and more honey after the four drops of water, but velvety smooth, velvety smooth. I would say my summary for this bourbon, sweet, smooth, and really delightful. That would be my summary. And I'm going to say this is definitely my favorite out of the four that I did. 1792, Blanton's and W.L. Weller. A little bit on the expensive side though here in South Africa, 1,000 Rand. Not so much in the UK as far as I could pick up, around 30 pounds and probably 30 euros in, the, in um, Europe. $40 in the United States. If you want to pair four roses, small batch with a romantic background, if you want to pair this bourbon with a food snack, I would recommend that you connect with the sweet fruity notes or the nutty notes or the caramel notes, the marzipan notes, the honey and the cinnamon notes. Those are the flavors that you want to connect with with your pairing food snack. So I've tried pretzels. That is the word that I couldn't get yesterday. I was trying to think of that salty snack, but pretzels works quite well. The saltiness and the sweet notes in the whiskey gives you a wonderful sweet and salty combination. But maybe you want to connect with the caramel notes with something like a peanut brittle or with a marzipan, the, that nutty almond, nutty, pasty um, flavor with a slice of chocolate covered marzipan some dried fruit covered in honey chocolate then you're going to connect with the fruity notes and the chocolate notes or what i used yesterday with the double uh, with the blantons a pork crunch which is a very light fluffy salty and slightly smoky pork brittle and i think there's another word for that as well um wonderful combination with the sweet notes but for today i've got something very exciting i'm going to try to connect with the sweet um, cinnamon notes with a cinnabon 
combined. It is actually a Cinnabon um, donut. So it's a Cinnabon combined with a donut. And it is a wonderful snack. It's one of my daughter's favorite sweet snacks. So it's got the cinnamon and the caramel notes. And I've just cut a small piece. And let's see if this works. Mm. Fabulous dessert. Fantastic. Oh, this is wonderful. It just connects with the cinnamon and the sweet notes in the whiskey and the, in the bourbon and that wonderful sweet snack. This works fantastic. How much will I give this? I will definitely give this a four or a four and a half out of five as a pairing. And this now my favorite bourbon. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you again tomorrow when I start with a brand new series. More whiskey tastings and food pairings to come. Cheers.